Okay, this sermon is entitled, Works Trusters Are the Ones Who Truly Need to Repent. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 19 reads, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Now before I get into my sermon, I'd like to explain what a works truster is. Because nobody in their right mind is going to claim or profess to be a works truster. Yet there are false prophets everywhere who are teaching works and trusting in their works. And the reason why nobody will admit that they're a works truster is because that makes them look stupid. And these people are stupid. So a works truster can be anything from a free grace rejecter, a Roy's preacher, a changed lifer, somebody who mocks grace and calls it hyper grace, somebody who mocks belief and calls it easy believism, a James Tour, somebody who insists that if you have faith it will be accompanied by works. Any one of these people is a works truster. And these people claim that I'm teaching a no repentance gospel and that I'm encouraging people not to repent of their sins. When all I'm telling people is that they don't have to repent of their sins for salvation, and that's 100% biblical. Because nobody on this planet has repented of their sins. These people are so stupid, they might as well be teaching people to reach for the stars. Nobody's done it. Or slam dunk a basketball in a 50-foot basketball goal. It can't be done. Yet they're telling people to do the impossible. That makes them a bunch of stupid, unsaved, retarded fools who need to be called out and exposed. But the truth of the matter is, is that these people are the ones who truly have not repented in the biblical sense. Turn over to Mark chapter 1. Now, first we have to define what repentance means. In Mark chapter 1, let's take a look at verse 15 and it reads, And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now these stupid unsaved works trusters, they have not believed the gospel. Because if they have, they wouldn't be trying to earn their salvation as if it's some type of a barter, or a haggle, or a trade-off, or a quid pro quo. And the works trusters don't believe the gospel. Because if they did, they wouldn't be adding in any other conditions. They would know that Jesus dying on the cross for their sins was enough. It was sufficient. He paid it all. He said in John chapter 19 that it is finished. That means we can't add anything to it. We can't finish our own salvation if he finished it. So the context of Mark chapter 1 and verse 15 is that people need to repent of their false gospel. And these stupid devils out there who teach Roy's and a changed life and loss of salvation and they mock hyper grace, they won't repent of their false gospel. They will continue to believe this garbage until they drop into hell. So they are the ones who actually need to repent. They need to trust Christ alone for salvation. And the simple fact that they still teach works proves they haven't. It proves they're not saved. It proves they're hellbound. And they're the ones who are going to go to hell having not repented of their false gospel. It has nothing to do with repenting of sins. Because nobody has repented of their sins. That's why Jesus Christ paid for our sins at the cross. And that's why he takes away all our sins. And that's why he washes our sins away by his own blood. And that's why people that are trusting in their selves are called to actually repent. Repent and believe the gospel. But guess what? The works trusters won't repent. People like Paul Washer, Ray Comfort, John MacArthur, Francis Chan, Tim Conway, fill in the blank. They won't repent of this false gospel. And that's why they're going to hell. Free gracers are not trusting in their self or their works. So we are the ones who have truly repented in the biblical sense. And we've believed on Christ for salvation. And we are 100% heaven bound. So... Despite what these stupid losers teach, they're the ones 
who truly need to repent, and the sad truth is, is most of them won't because they're already reprobates who are going to hell. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.